guys, welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. This is the week that I just finished up and now this is this week. It is now Monday because I wasn't feeling good this weekend. I just wanted to sleep and do nothing else. So um, I didn't get started yet. So we're planning the day of instead of the day before. I did work today. I don't know about the rest of the week. So like most of my plan with me's, I don't have much to tell you right now, but I do love this kit. This is um, a Scrabble Prints Co. It's like a winter reading kit. And I figured this would be fun for this week. And um, I probably will start transitioning away from winter kits after this though, because it's February now and I'm ready for the spring kits to come along. But I do find these super cute and I am looking forward to using this kit this week. It is really light and pretty and just a good kit for me. Hi guys, so I decided to go ahead and speed this up and do a voiceover because I got about halfway through putting all the stickers down and ran out of things to say. Not that I had a ton to say beforehand because some weeks I just don't have anything to say. And this is one of those weeks where I was just like, I'm trying way too hard to figure out what to say. And I have a, a mic. I can very easily just voice this over or even just put music in, which at this point in time, if my brain does not figure out something to say to you guys, I might actually do because... Yeah, it's been one of those weeks. Actually, it's been one of those days. I don't know. It was just, ugh. All right, um, I will tell you about my day in a moment, but I figured I should just tell you a little bit more about the kit. I picked the kit because it was a reading kit, and let's be real here. It's got books all over it, and I've got books all over my house, and my dream life is reading. <laughs> Which, if you saw last month's... Um, Reading wrap up, you'll know that it's all I did last month. This month, I'm not doing so good. It's the 11th and I only read two books so far because I tried reading a book that didn't jive with me and ended up putting myself in a little slump. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still talking at this point in time in the actual video because my hands will move occasionally like I'm saying something which I find funny because I didn't realize I talked with my hands so much that you can actually see it in my planning videos. But apparently you can. So we'll just pretend that this is me talking now. Anyways, um, so ever have a case of the Mondays? Well, today was my case of the Mondays. So my alarm was up at 5.30 and um, we live in Guam. And Guam's not very big. It takes about an hour to get from the top of the island to the bottom of the island, depending on the route you take and how far down you go. So we live towards the top of the island. Um, the base that Pat works at is at the very top. And the base that the high school, which is where I was working today, is right in the middle. I am literally halfway between the base and the high school. So I will work at the, the middle school because it's on base or I'll work at the high school because again, it's only about 20 minutes away from my, from us, but they closed down one of the uh, gates at the base. And because of that, it's been pretty hectic as far as traffic goes. And so it's been taking us longer to get on base. So my alarm went off at 530 and I know I should set my alarm for earlier, but I took my shower the night before and I packed up my lunch the night, the night before. So really all I had to do was get up, put clothes on, fix my hair, brush my teeth, grab my food and leave. I figured we'd be fine. We could leave by six and I could get to work on time. So two things came up this morning. One, I took a drink out of my water bottle and set it down next to me and then promptly decided to dump it all over myself. Obviously not on purpose. I didn't put the lid on all the way and it's like my thing that I always forget to do. And of course, this always makes Pat yell at me. I told you to put the lid on. 
but I was tired this morning and I wasn't paying attention and I literally dumped my water bottle all over myself. So nothing to get you out of bed faster than freezing cold water at 5.30 in the morning getting dumped on you. So there's how my day started out. And then the base traffic was horrible, so bad that it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get to work. We left the house at almost exactly six o'clock and I didn't get to work until 7.15. I was 15 minutes late and I was just so frustrated. And then the rest of the day is pretty good. Once I got my bearings, I ended up being a little bit scattered and I had the lesson plans but couldn't figure out where the homework and stuff was. I was gonna go make copies and then I realized that they were behind me the whole time. And she'd put them on a, a bookshelf directly behind her, which is where she puts all of her extra work and books and things that she needs for class. And she put all of the assignments there. So it should have been really easy to find. My haired brain was not. But the rest of the day went pretty good. Um, I had two very, very quiet classes. And as a sub, a good quiet class is nice. But at the same time, it's kind of boring when the class is really quiet. And so I had two extremely quiet classes. And then I had um, two more boisterous classes. One class didn't do much work. And the other class did all their work, but they just talked loudly and made jokes the entire time. And of course, they're telling me jokes along the way, which was funny, but a little obnoxious at the same time, because one of them was completely innocent. It just sounded bad. And the joke was, um, it was definitely something that sounded sexual at first. And then you stop and you think about it and you do the punchline and you're like, oh, and I would tell you what it is now. And I'm very, very tempted to, but I'm worried that something will go the wrong way. So I'm just going to stay off that topic. Anyways, I definitely should probably bring this back to the topic at hand, which is the plan with me. Um, there really wasn't much to tell though, as far as plans, my husband's birthday was on Saturday the 9th and we had a lot of fun. We went to the beach to take pictures. I was getting adventurous and wanted to wait out into the water to get a better picture of the sunset. Stepped on the slipperiest rock ever and went down hard. Protecting the camera. It was straight out in the air. It didn't even get a splash of water on it, but oh man, I ended up with a huge bloody bruised knee and, and my hand hurt still. But um, overall, his birthday went really well. And then I worked most of the week. I worked Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which I think turned out really well. Um, I work all week this week, though. And I work all week the next two weeks straight after this. So it was nice to have a little bit of a chill week knowing that I was going into a busy time. But yeah, I've been doing pretty good. Now I've only got a couple of minutes left of this plan with me before it goes back over to the live section while I look through stickers, but I don't really have much else to say. I do have a comment for some of these, like the, the scribble prints, especially there is so many icons. I find it ironic that the icons that I would probably use the most, they're not there. Like there's nothing there for like a pill so that you can put in that you're taking vitamins or getting your prescription refilled or anything like that. There's nothing in there for having a bad day. So say you have a bad day and you're stressed out and angry, there's no stickers for that. So, you know, notes to all the sticker makers. If you want to put in icons, put in more that we could actually use. We don't need all the little fancy doohickeys. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop and go back to my live self. Bye. All right, guys, how's it going? Um, so I didn't talk for most of this because I didn't have anything to say. So you will have just gotten done hearing my voiceover. So I figured I would come back and show you the final and show you what stickers I had left. I think it ended up being beautiful. I used a blue pen, this one for most of it. I find that these um, Paper Mate pens work great on glossy stickers. So I'm probably gonna keep using them for glossy. I had the black one, but I always lose the black one. For some reason, I can never keep track of the stupid black one, but the blue one I always have track of. Explain that to me. And then 
for leftovers, if I can figure out where I put them. All right, so we have leftover stickers. Um, most of these will end up in my stuff for my giveaway. So like all the headers and littles will all end up in there. The rest of the, the glitter will probably end up in there. This one will definitely end up in there. So yeah, I have quite a bit left. Um, but this kit, I just, I love the size of it personally. And then we have a bunch of like little overlay stuff and some little book stickers that I will have to figure out what's gonna go in the giveaway stuff and what's not going to. Um, it's already getting fat. It may not make it to six months. So six months where I'm going. I also put a couple of full kits in there this time. So yeah, that is everything. I think it turned out beautiful and I am totally loving it. But I am ready to move on to next week because next week is gonna be a work week. The next three weeks straight. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.